6.2 number 19. Factor the following trinomial, 8w squared minus 48w plus 64. The first thing you always want to do, with, no matter what kind of factoring you're doing, is look for a GCF. So is there a GCF, a greatest common factor for all three terms that we have here? And yes, there is. We can pull out an 8. And any time you can pull out an, a GCF, it's going to make the rest of your factoring easier. So we have leftovers, w squared minus 6w plus 8. So now we want to factor the inside trinomial here that are the leftovers. So the GCF of 8 just tags along, and we're going to use binomial factoring, or binomial factors to factor down this trinomial. And we know we're going to start with w and w, so that we can get w squared. And then we know that the last terms are going to be factors of 8 that add up to minus 6. So let's look at that. Factors of 8 that sum to the middle term of minus 6. So let's list out the factors of 8. We have 8 times 1 and 4 times 2. This is a positive 8, and we know that they have to add to minus 6. That means both of them are going to need to be negative, because if you multiply two negatives, you get a positive. If you add two negatives, you get a negative. And now we just look to see what they sum to. Minus 8 plus minus 1 is minus 9. That doesn't work, but this one does. Minus 4 plus minus 2 gives us minus 6. So that's the one we want to use. Minus 4, minus 2. And just quickly double check the factoring here. w squared minus 2w minus 4w is minus 6w. Minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8. So that checks out. And then this 8 tagged along. So that's the factoring. Just remember to always pull out a GCF. Anytime you're doing factoring, it'll make the rest of the work easier.